I'm overwhelmed at the moment. Hey, it's Lena, and about a year ago I posted another closet declutter video, and in that one I got rid of a lot of clothes. Back then I still had things sitting in my closet from way too many years ago that I just never wore. I still had things from like elementary school, and that was a really good closet clean out. But while I did get rid of a lot of clothes, I also kept a lot of clothes to give myself the chance to maybe rediscover them again or wear them again. I also kept a lot of things for like lounging purposes. But now, a year later, I realized I still don't wear a lot of those clothes and I don't see myself wearing them again in the future or I just have no need for them anymore. Also, now I have a different closet because I've moved and this one is a bit smaller than the one that I had before, so my clothes don't quite fit in it. It kind of looks like it's about to burst. I even have clothes just sitting on the floor of it because they don't fit anywhere else, so I definitely want to fix this. The plan is to declutter by section, so instead of taking everything out of my closet at once and overwhelming myself that way, I'll try and take everything out by sections and then categorize the items into either keep, sell, or donate, and then just organize things from there. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with this side of the closet, and then later I'll deal with this other side, but for now, I'm gonna start here, and I think instead of doing all of this at once, I'm gonna start by doing the stuff kind of from here-ish towards the bottom, which includes some of the stuff that's on the floor. I'm just gonna take it all out, put it on the bed for now. Okay, so I took everything out now and I'm gonna show you what the bed looks like. Okay, um, truth be told, I kind of messed up these clothes a little bit more for a thumbnail and now I have to deal with this and I'm sitting on some clothes which wasn't the wisest thing to do. So, just a second, let me make an actual little area for me to sit at. I have parted the sea of clothes and now I have a place to actually sit. So, right, what you're not seeing right now is I have two laundry baskets right there, which is gonna be the sell and um, donate piles. To help me make a decision on whether I should keep an item or not, there were a few things that I tried to keep in mind. So I asked myself, when was the last time I wore this? Has it been more than a year? Do I actually see myself wearing this again in the future? Is it comfortable? Do I feel good wearing it? Does it fit me well? And lastly, does it suit my style now? So with that in mind, let the sorting begin. Okay, I got these pants um, for a commercial. The wardrobe department actually asked me to get them because then I would know that they would fit me perfectly and then they refunded me. But I would personally never really wear this style of pants again. I think I have a lot of clothing items like this where I'm like, I personally wouldn't wear it, but I know that it would come in really handy for an audition or something like that. Um, so then I, I get stuck in this dilemma of whether I should keep it or not. these jeans on again because I really can't remember if they fit me. I feel like I'm gonna make a pile of things that I need to try on a little bit later and then just kind of like power through trying on a bunch of things. All right so now that I finished that bottom section down there I think I'm gonna skip these two drawers because it's really just my socks and my underwear so I think I might just do that off camera but now I'm gonna go through this section right here. Everything that is actually in here is like pretty jammed in there. There's so many tops. Um, just gonna grab them out and put them on the bed. That is all of them. This thing is empty now. Let's sort you. Let's, let's get the sorting hat out. Very true. But I have not worn it since the event 
that it was four. So I think I'm gonna donate this one. Yikes! This is very old and honestly I don't even think I can donate this. It is in very, very, very bad shape. I think I'm gonna do some like textile recycling for it. So technically throwing it away, but it'll be recycled. So I kind of needed another pile. So now I'm gonna move on to this section right here, which is a bunch of sweaters and hoodies. And as you can tell, they're pretty stuffed in there, but that's not even all of them. I have some sitting on top of my shoe rack on this other side of the closet. And even though that's kind of like a different section of the closet, because they're the same sort of items, I think I'm just gonna do them all at once. Ah, I just got kind of dizzy from just going back and forth. I shouldn't have, right? That was weird. Okay, and now I gotta get the ones that are kind of sitting on the shoe rack. This is how many sweaters just came out. There is quite a bit of them. Okay, once again, I have not thought things through because I didn't really leave a spot for me to sit among all these sweaters. So I'm just gonna scoot you guys over. Scoot you guys, these are sweaters. I have a little comfortable spot for me to go through all of these. Okay, this sweater was actually kind of nice a while back but it has like a mock neck situation and um, it like kept stretching the mock neck part of it. So now when I wear it, it looks like I have like a really big neck and I don't, I don't really, I don't really want that. So donate. Uh, 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 I don't know what to do with some of these things. I feel like I'm keeping way more things than I expected to be keeping, but I genuinely do like these and I wear them, I think. Now I'm just like doubting myself on some of these. I'm like, do I wear it? I think I do, but do I? Will I wear it again? Hello, you are up there and I am down here and the section that I need to go through now is also up there and I'm a little short but I'm gonna try and take it all out now. I think it's literally all gonna come out at once and it might be really problematic but we're just gonna deal with it. Yep, it's coming out at once because it's all squished in there. Maybe if I just... Okay, I got these two. <laughs> okay, yay, success. Look at me. This time I actually remembered to have a little sitting section and it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that that's where the tripod was when I was filming taking the stuff out of there. I have a zebra onesie pajama set. I think I got this for a Halloween costume. I kid you not, when I was like in grade 10. And when I did that last closet declutter, I think my thought process was that it was comfortable and maybe I would still wear it as pajamas or around the house or something. I have not. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna donate these. This is like one of those almost infinity scarf things that I don't I don't really know why I thought this was a good idea like this can't look good right comment down below if this is a fashion statement it is warm so maybe it'll keep someone else warm I think I'm gonna donate it it's not a race that's what this shirt says. It's not a race, you guys. Very, very inspirational. I will not wear this. 
Okay, update. This is all of the keep stuff. This is all of the sell and donate. This side is practically done. Now moving on to the other half of the closet. Literally on my tippy toes and I have to pull it up before I... Okay, I also had some things actually behind the things that were hanging, just kind of sitting on here. So I'm gonna take those out too. This looks like it belongs to Santa Claus. When I got it, I think it looked more like it was gonna be closer to a burgundy color as opposed to bright red. Um, and I did wear it a few times, it was okay. Kinda reminded me a little bit of Nancy Wheeler from Stranger Things, but I don't really see myself wearing this again, so I think I'm gonna donate or sell it. These kind of jackets used to be so trendy a while back and I did really like it for a while there. It is pretty cozy, but now I don't really love it that much, which is the problem with buying trendy items. I'm gonna go through this bottom section. I guess I'll start with the jeans that are just hanging up here. Donate. I just hit the microphone of the camera. Okay, now moving on to the shoes. Donate. Maybe I need to stop throwing things, but... It just seems so much more practical than me standing up and putting them over there. I've had these since like grade nine again and I don't really wear them. I always opt out to wear other running shoes. So I think I'm gonna take these out. Same with these basketball shoes. Don't use them, don't wear them. Don't know why I actually kept them for the last closet clean out. So I'm gonna take these out as well. I have these Converse which served me really well. I think I got them literally grade 10 or something like that. And they've been really great for a long time, but they're kind of falling apart now. And I think it's time to let them go. Like, look at that part of the sole. I clearly wore them so, so much. They are seriously deteriorating. I have these track and field spikes that I said I was gonna get rid of in the last closet clean out. But then after filming that, I told myself I would give the chance to maybe wear them again and go to the track. And I actually did end up going to the track this last summer and wearing them. So I think I'm gonna keep them again and hopefully I'll go back this summer as well. So I guess this little section here is like the athletic section of the shoe rack. I have the runners, the spikes, and then the slides that I wear before putting on my indoor gym shoes. This looks a lot better, a lot less cluttered. Now there's no shoe sitting on the floor right here, which is also really nice. Okay, for the sake of you guys actually being able to see what I'm doing, I'm gonna move everything from the keep pile, just make a big pile over here. try on the clothes that are sitting in that maybe pile so that I can actually make up my mind on whether I want to keep them or not. I have a mirror on the wall right in front of me, so I'm just gonna get started. Okay, so I'm trying on both the jeans and the shirt, 
And I actually think this is kind of a nice outfit on its own. I think I'm gonna keep both. It really doesn't help that I'm not the most decisive person. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, I think I might keep it. I don't really love this one anymore, but I think my mom might actually like it. I'm gonna let both my mom and my sister go through the donate bag before I send everything off. Okay, at this point, I figured instead of having you guys sit through me talking about each item, I just kind of do like a little speed round, so here's that. Okay, I finished sorting through everything. Um, that is the cell pile, and the donate pile is significantly bigger, and... It actually does look like I took out a lot of stuff. This has been a very exhausting process. I've been at it for hours now and I do feel good about it, but I want to give myself a better sense of accomplishment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to count how many items are leaving my closet. I'm going to start with what's being donated first. So I'm going to... nine items to be sold and now for the uh the donate pile which is quite quite ridiculous so that that worked out a lot better in my head okay i think i might actually sell some of these things now that i'm looking at them so maybe the sell number wasn't that accurate i'll just do a total Seventy-six. Seventy-six items are leaving my closet. That's a lot. Oh, and I also got rid of one, two, three, four, five pairs of shoes. Now it's time for me to show you the results. I love looking at the before and after. It's probably one of my favorite parts of decluttering. I just find it to be super satisfying to look at and it just makes me feel that much more accomplished. Like this right here is just so nice to look at. So if you're planning on decluttering one of your spaces, I definitely recommend that you take some before and after pictures or videos. But anyways, I'm so happy with the results, even though it's still kind of full. Overall, it's just a lot more manageable and way more organized than it was before. And now there's no clothes sitting on the floor because they actually fit in the closet space and yes I might have done a little bit of some color organization I just figured you know I might as well and now I'll just leave you to watch the rest of the before and afters thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure you leave a thumbs up and hopefully you also subscribe and turn on your bell notifications and with that being said I'll catch you in my next video mm -hmm.